But yeah, this is my last hard workout before Valencia Marathon. So I did Indianapolis, 220 was the result. We don't, even though I named the video sub 220 workout, it's a bit embarrassing. Ran 220.46. And I already had the entry to Valencia Marathon next weekend because I entered last year, 2020, and it got canceled. So I had the deferred entry. We're back. <laughs> We're back for another, hey Nate, firstly, Nate, thank you for coming out and filming the second sub-elite, uh, if, if you want to call a 220 marathon a sub-elite, I don't know, workout of the channel. So Nate has been filming really cool stuff with Luis Orta, Nel Royas. Who else have you done? Yeah, a few uh, others in the area? Yeah, a bit with Parker Stinson. Parker, of course, yeah, plenty with um, Parker. Yeah, a few triathletes like Rudy and working with Morgan. Yeah. Houston, so. so we've, uh, I'm going away to Europe as some of you might have heard in the first video. And Nate's going to be doing a little bit of filming for, for us when I'm away. Obviously continue to do his own stuff. So super thankful for Nate. I'll throw the camera around on him a little bit later to introduce. We'll go this way. One of my friends in Finland, he used to live in Finland. Aki, 217 guy. He really started egging me on to run with him because he's going to run Valencia too and he wants to run under 218 sorry under 217.57 his best so I'm going to run with him and see how we go so yeah so there's nine days to go Friday now it's next Sunday and I've got a bit of travel coming up in the next four days to Chicago whoop we'll go back okay. sweet yeah to Chicago see Nate can do this angle but I can't I can't do this one very well <laughs> <laughs> A lot of practice. <laughs> Whenever I do this angle, my camera's like this. So I've got to fix it in Premiere Pro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've got quite a bit of travel in the next four days. Let's go up this path here. So I'm doing this workout now. Normally I'd probably do it seven, six or seven days before, but it's nine days because of the travel. Uh, Chicago for two days, filming Colin McCow, recently selected for the World Champs team and then to Spain, it'll take a day and a half. So, warming up, and we'll put the camera back on when we get, get into the intervals. Let's go. So, two mile warm up. Some of you will recognize this loop because both Nate and I have filmed on this so many times. Celestial Seasonings. It's just at the north east of Boulder. It's like a really nice, uh, it's like 1.1 kilometer loop, pretty flat. It's a very, very small hill, but I wouldn't even call it a hill. Uh, and around it, there's a few bigger loops. We're just going to stick to the small loop because there's guaranteed no traffic in there. Um, so, yeah, but you would have seen plenty of Lewis Auto stuff that Nate's filmed here. I think I've shot six or seven workouts here. A Tin Man, Lewis, obviously, to Parker, Morgan, maybe even more than that. Uh, I was in six or seven workouts, so, so yeah. It's a classic. They yeah. Should, they should host like a fun run or something here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably the fastest loop you can find here, I'd say. They forget what I said about a hill, it's not a hill. <laughs> it's like a very small rise, a few meters. Uh, but I was just saying to Nate off camera, we'll go right. Nate's just started a YouTube series with Nell Royas, which is super cool. I've really liked it. Have you enjoyed the first few episodes, Nate? Yeah, Filming it's been with awesome Nell. seeing like behind the scenes. Nell's doing some like cutting edge stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, it's amazing to see like the focus of her strength training, and she's got this whole thing dialed down. And she's five months out from Boston. So. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. You should go check it out. We'll put the link in the bottom of this uh, YouTube clip. But yeah, uh, it's really cool that more and more athletes are doing YouTube series. I think it's good for the sport people learn more um, yeah we're well, saying too I'd like to do some more sub elite workouts and I don't want to be the only one <laughs> so got to find some more people for the sub elite group I think people enjoyed the last workout because it was more relatable to a lot of people around at 220 
you know, uh, standard of training. So, shouldn't so yeah. Be, shouldn't be too hard in Boulder to find some subtle no. things I'd be willing. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, so I did actually have planned to do a different workout than what I'm actually doing today. So I had planned to do eight by two minutes and eight by one minutes. Uh, classic Canova workout, I guess, but I've changed it because uh, I'm an asthmatic and it's getting cold here now, <laughs> going into winter, and my asthma's flaring up a little bit. Now it's, it's under control. Um, but the more, it seems to be really bothered when I, when I stop and start. So I was thinking 16 intervals. You know, some of you would have noticed if you watched the last video, um, my last workout that I was coughing quite a bit. It seems to flare up when I'm, um, I won't believe too long with this, uh, when I'm stopping and starting all the time. So I changed the workout to be less reps. So I'm doing 3K, 2x2K, 2x1K. The 3K at like around half marathon pace effort. So if up, maybe up here would be so 310 to 312 pace uh, per kilometer in per mile, I think. It's about 510, 508, something like that. Two by 2K, a little bit quicker, maybe 305 pace, closer to five minute mile pace. Two by 1K at around three minutes, maybe maybe under 255, see how we feel. So that's 445 to 450 pace. Two minutes rest between, so 3K, two by two, two by one. So that's 9K worth of intervals. Um, yeah, in an ideal world, I would have done the eight by two, eight by one. Um, but I can tell at the moment that my asthma is flaring up a little bit when I'm stopping and starting all the time. And I don't want this episode to just be me coughing. So, <laughs> so we're going to do less reps. And uh, yeah, um, I'm trying to mimic the race as much as possible again. So I'm having Monster Energy drink before. I'm almost, I'm almost. I mean, I know people think that's. Some people think that's a bit nuts. It's fine on my stomach. Uh, I, I, I like the effect. Um, running in Vaporfly next percent. These are an old beat up pair, so I will run in a newer pair. These have done on 300 to 400 K, so they're a bit a bit worn out, but they're okay. Um, I'm gonna take a gel, so I've got a gel on me. I'm gonna take that at some point, probably in the second 2K, in the middle of the workout, or the first 2K. And Nate, are you able to put a drink in your bike? Do you have a bike? Uh, I actually you don't, that's all good. Yeah. I'll put a drink somewhere, probably on top of my car, and just ride by and grab it, just purely to practice drinking on the run. Um, uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's not necessary to have a gel and drinks in this workout. It's only 9k. It's just practicing drinking and taking the gel on the run, because that's what you have to do in a marathon, obviously. So, so yeah, looking forward to. It. I'll do a few more stretches and then we'll get started with the 3k. Sweet. Drink stop. Uh, I'm gonna try and sweep. I hope that stays there. But if it doesn't, I mean, it's not too. It's actually pretty much perfect conditions. It's not windy, so it should stay there. I'm gonna try and grab that in one of the intervals. Probably this is probably the 2k. But again, if it falls down and I can't do it, it's not a big deal. It's only just to practice for next Sunday. All right. Let's start these intervals. All right. Three, two. One, let's go. on effort so try and keep it right around that I think this one Thank you. 
9.39, 3.13s. Felt good. One of the things I was thinking about during that rep was how Lewis did like 10K at the end of his long run, faster than that, <laughs> around the same loop. And oh, the guy's a beast. <laughs> All right, two minutes rest, and then to two by two K. Do you find being at altitude helps with your asthma or does it make it worse? It doesn't really have any, any effect. No. It's the cold that flares it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I take two medicines for it. I mean, it's <laughs> under control to the, to the, for the most part. Yeah. But for whatever reason, it's like triggered when I stop. I don't know why. It's, yeah. It always has been like that. That's interesting. Yeah. But good of you to notice that and train for it. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Five. 2K, slightly faster. Two, one, let's go. That was good. 610. Through a three, through a seven. First K a little quick. Um, second K was probably good because, I mean, taking the gel will slow you down by a couple seconds. But yeah, it worked out well. Two minutes jog, another two K, and then two by one. So we're already five K down, past halfway, in terms of volume. Feeling pretty good. Yeah. Super nice to have Nate here. <laughs> this will be a bit lonely on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, let's go. Through five, through six. It's good. I need to walk for a bit. Get the heart rate down. So far, so good. Yeah, it's like pretty much exactly what I hope for. So, two more minutes rest. I feel like I've got snow all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> and then two by K. Around three for this one, and then, you know, if I feel good. 
pick it up a bit on the second one, but I won't go crazy. I won't go all out. Uh, keep it controlled, 95, you know, percent effort at, at most. So, yeah, it's been good. <coughs> good thing about the conditions today. Yeah, the conditions today are very similar to what they'll be in Valencia. I looked at the forecast just before. Valencia will be a little warmer, maybe like, now it's like 10 Celsius. Fahrenheit, that's, I think it's like 50, I think. <coughs> in Valencia, it's gonna be 12, 13, and still like this. So, conditions are gonna be similar, which is, which, which is very handy. Two, one, let's go. Exactly. That's good. Three zero zero point zero two. <laughs> right on the nose. That was a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes jog. One more. About the same. Actually, I haven't practiced the drink yet, so. Let's loop back a bit, because the drink stops up here. Uh, so, let's turn around in a second so I can hit that drink stop. I want to do my practice. Okay. So, starting in 25 seconds. Um, I'm gonna grab the drink after about 100 meters, 200 meters, and practice drinking it. Again, not really necessary, but in this workout, but just practicing drinking on the run at a faster pace than marathon pace. Okay, five, two, one, let's go. that later. Again. Ah, oh, that was good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, you look strong and smooth. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know, doing two marathons in four weeks is—it's obviously risky. Um, <laughs> I didn't make the decision to do Valencia until the day after in Indianapolis, and. You know, I just thought, I'm not, an, I'm not an elite athlete. I mean, I'm not a professional runner. I'm not sponsored. I don't have obligations to meet in that regard. Like many of the athletes are both Nate and I film. But <coughs> it's good sound counter. This could sound uh, like I'm contradicting myself or whatever, but I've been injured a lot over the last few years and I'm finally got a streak when I'm not injured, so I want to make the most of it. Now, some would say, are you asking for another injury by doing this? You know, I think when we're training at this, you know, this volume, I'm about 70, 75 miles a week max. <coughs> we're kind of always asking for an injury, but, but uh, you know, I really want to join my friend, Aki. I really want to race once yet again. I did it in 2019, around 227 PR at the time. And, 
just exciting for me. So, you know, I've made it through these last few weeks now after it hit with no injuries. <coughs> That's it, last hard workout. I mean, four easy days now. I'll do 5K at marathon pace in Spain on Wednesday when I arrive and that's it so I'm excited thanks everyone for following along <coughs> honestly like you know Nate and I talk about this sort of stuff like the engagement the comments on, on YouTube like it really means a lot to us um, you know the, the positive ones and people supporting the channel and stuff you know it's, it means a world to us and <coughs> we're just trying to do good for the sport you know good for athletes you guys are there watching and supporting and sharing and it's just super cool so thank you for you know, everyone that's reached out, commented, messaged on both of our channels, all of our channels, and uh, <coughs> yeah, for those more, you know, more um, sort of with the curiosity into my build up towards Indy and this, it's all on Strava. You know, I put it all on there. The mileage is real, it's like seven, 65 to 70. I chose not to do such high mileage this year because I had 18 months of niggles and injuries with Achilles, shin splints, so I was kind of tired of that, so I've kept it low and focused on the quality, so. Thank you, Nate. Let me just quickly oh, yeah. say hi, Nate. So this is, oh, hang on, I don't know how to use your camera. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Nate, for filming. Yeah, of course. So Nate's gonna be doing a little bit of the, uh, the filming for Sweat Elite soon. And obviously, like I said, check out the channels with Nell. Most of you would have already, uh, okay. I can't hold it. The this camera is so much better than mine. Uh, yeah. It's so good. Um, Got the gimbal action there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But yeah, you know, many of you would have already been familiar with Lewis's stuff, so. That's Nate, he's been filming that stuff, super cool and uh, sweet, let's go, Valencia. All right. Nine days. <laughs>